Husker Nation is ready. The season is about to begin, and fans are gearing up for the first big game. Good midday. I'm Deborah Tuck. And I'm Matt Monroe. It's a new season, yep. a new coach, and some new expectations. KMTV News reporter Emily Zink is live from Memorial Stadium. Emily, can you feel the excitement building there in Lincoln? Oh, yeah, Matt. It was nothing but a sea of red today on campus, and fans tell me they are counting down the minutes until kickoff tomorrow. <laughs> It's crazy. It's an atmosphere unlike any other. It's electric. Chances are, if you haven't been, you've heard about Memorial Stadium on game day. People have warned us. They said it's basically a sea of red, lots of craziness and fun. Saturday kicks off a new season under new leadership. I'm really, really excited. It's like a new era, and I'm just excited to see what happens, like what what it brings, and I really hope we win. Go Big Red. Fans say they're optimistic about Nebraska's new head coach, Mike Riley. It might be a good change. It'll be definitely interesting to see what happens. Fans may not know what type of season Riley's leadership will produce, but they say personality-wise, he's no Pelini. Mike Riley feels a little closer to the fans already than Pelini did, so I don't know. It's just I'm hoping for kind of a maybe a happier season. <laughs> for months, the Huskers have been prepping for Saturday, but they're not the only ones taking the field. The marching band has been working just as hard. I feel like for the first show, we're really, we're really set for a good performance. For both the band and the team, practice makes perfect, and the electrifying energy of Memorial Stadium makes them come alive. Obviously, we're rehearsing every day, but when you're in front of a crowd, it makes it like so much better. Well, Nebraska has won 29 consecutive season openers, and fans tell me tomorrow's game is going to be no different. They're hoping to get that win against BYU. Kickoff is at 2:30 tomorrow. Live in Lincoln, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.